Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Grampy. Hope you're doing okay. I'm doing great. I uh, am out here in this area. If you can see where our base is over there, there's our portal. And we are going to start a very small side project. I say small, it'll probably take me a lot longer than I'm thinking, or longer than it should. But we're going to build a very quick and dirty creeper farm. Because I worked my you know what off over there at the uh, breeder, and I made a lot of progress. I've got a lot of the villagers, um, you know, down to the appropriate trades uh, discounts, but I used up all the gunpowder I had twice, and uh, it was just a real pain. So I figured we just need to get some gunpowder, and we can get as much as we need for a while without a lot of effort. I mean, without building a gigantic farm. So what we're going to do, build a little mini farm, uh, uses the same principle. It's not Logic's farm, but it uses whoever designed I saw it on the internet. And I can't remember who did it. I'll try and find it and post a link. But um, um, the person that did the tutorial um, uses the principles that were pioneered by logic in terms of using cats to scare creepers and um, in certain patterns on the spawning platform to prevent spiders. I mean, I don't know. It's it's a cool design, and I'm not saying that logic's the only guy that ever thought of it, but um, he's the first, and he's known for this for that kind of basic model. And this farm uses the same thing. It's just a very simple application of that. Very easy to build, not a lot of blocks. Not not uh, massively efficient either. I mean, you give up efficiency, obviously. But um, it's going to be good enough for our purposes for now. So we're going to start off by digging a little bit of a ditch right here. So. Um, I think maybe right here is a good spot. So three wide and four deep. And this needs to be, I think 15, because we're gonna, needs to be uh, two water channels. Water will flow eight blocks from its source. Um, Thirteen. Is it bedtime? Yes. I don't want to creep or jump in here with. Okay, I think that's 15. One, two, three, ten, twelve, fifteen. Right. So on, I'm gonna place a source of here. And then change elevation to let the water keep flowing. So when you do that, water will flow down. It'll flow to the edge and then down, and then this will become like the first source block. So it'll flow eight more from there. So that's how we get the 15. And we're going to end up building our collection system here. Um,
Okay, so this is our ditch. Now, um, Um, let's see, this is going to be three wide. This is going to be the drop shaft where they spawn up there on either side. They're going to drop down here and more than we need, I don't think we so I think I don't know why I'm doing I mean necessary at all, but um but there'll be a water source here. They'll drop down this shaft and then they'll that stair is just to help them so that they don't kind of bob up and down and get stuck on this edge. They'll flow in here and keep going. And then I think you kind of need to leave them enough because when this water comes down, they'll get stuck if you don't leave them enough room to to smooth out into a too high area before you bring the ceiling down. I think two blocks ought to do it. Maybe two blocks with it. Stay. Could have just left this grass up there. Would have probably been fine for this temporary. This is going to come out. My my great idea is actually that we will um, that we will um, use this area that I'm in now. And maybe just kind of do something fun and blow a giant round hole in the ground with TNT all the way down to bedrock and build uh, our permanent creeper farm down there if we decide we need one. Um, it's not part of simply mine, it's not part of Logic Simply Minecraft series because it's not a real simple. Uh, design, but um, but it is it is uh, his design, so <laughs> it would be a, it would fit into our theme here. Um, but my goal really was to to show how um, to show how awesome his his simply Minecraft series was in terms of you know um, is that going to be I'm trying to remember I think I need. Um, trap door, all those. I mean, kind of the goal of this series was to show that his Simply Minecraft series was just an awesome way to Got to get rid of some of this junk. Temporarily use one of the chests. These chests are needed for the build. I don't need all of this. 
I kept it in inventory. Okay. So, um, here we are. This again, this will be where the, they'll drop off and they're going to get killed with, uh, in some campfires. We'll make some soul, soul campfires. And, uh, That'll kill them faster. There we have that. Now, um, thought I made a lot more stone bricks. Than okay. Um, I'm not going to light up a lot of this one. It is pretty cool to be able to see exactly what uh, what you what each torch does, and when you're trying to light up a big area like that. Okay. Um, so now the uh, the structure is going to be built around that drop hole, and it's going to look like. Hang on, I need to go check what it's going to look like. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, it's going to look kind of like that. Uh, only it's, we're going to keep going on, and it's going to look symmetrical on the other end. But um. Um. Let me show you. I think each side uh, there's going to be 13. So, um, one, two, three, from the outside. 11 on each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 13. And then it's going to do this number. Just like that. I lose my bed. I think I put it in here. Didn't I? Um, okay. So here's the basic shape, and this is going to be the spawning pads. There's going to be two levels. It's going to be two levels high, and our spawning AFK spot's going to be up in the air as usual, but um, okay, so this is right. This is going to be five blocks high. So I don't know if I got enough. Stone brick, actually. I have to go. I'm just about out of stone, believe it or not. I haven't done enough excavating, I guess. No, we're not done. <laughs> we're only three high. Four high. One, two.
go. Sorry, I didn't mean for this to take this long. Um, let me just top this layer off and talk about the floors. The key to uh, keeping other mobs from spawning here is going to be trap doors on the ceiling of each of the uh, each of the uh, spawning level. So um, let me just like this. No, I don't have enough. Did I throw any in this chest? Nope. Um, okay, my bros. Okay, so this... Guys, I knew there was something wrong here, and I just figured out what it is. This drop tube is only two wide, not three wide. <laughs> so <laughs> the creepers won't try to cross that. They, these trap doors need to completely make a closure before they'll think they can go across. So there's a little bit of work to do. Not bad. Uh, and I'm going to do it here, but I'm not going to make you watch me. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to bring this half in by one and go narrow the drop tube by, if I was smart, I'd leave the ones that they are going to be in the same place, but I'm not that smart. Okay, everybody, we are back, finally. I know it doesn't seem that long to you, but I... <laughs> I went ahead and did some, I painted the floors um, and the uh, water shaft with stone bricks as well. And uh, my OCD got the better of me and I didn't have enough, of course. So I actually went down to my mine and dug up a few more stacks of stone. <laughs> and uh, But now I feel much better. So anyway, this is the correct configuration. And these... With these things, with these floors two blocks apart, the creepers will just rush down as they seek to escape the horrible cats. And so now what we need to do is put a floor in here, or actually a ceiling, sorry. It's a floor for the one up above. And... We're not going to, uh, that's what my, that's what it cost me to be a dummy, but that's okay. I just still feel, so the ceiling is going to come right to here, same on the other side. It's two blocks high, as you can see. And it's going to have a trap door underneath it. So, um, and by having a trap door underneath it, like every single block is going to have a trap door just like this. Every single block above a spawning space. And that will make it so that the only thing that can spawn in this height is a creeper or a spider because zombies and skeletons are taller than creepers are and they will not spawn in that amount of space right there so only a creeper and a spider of course and we're going to prevent the spiders from spawning we don't want spiders either but we'll prevent them by giving up a little bit of efficiency we're going to give up a few of our spawning 
spaces by putting carpets down in strategic locations so that there never is a three by three area. They require, I think, I'm, I may be misspeaking here, but I think they require three by three to spawn. And uh, if we deny them that, they will not spawn. So we use carpets to make sure there is no three by three. And maybe, like I said, three by three may be the wrong number, maybe two by two, I can't. But um, I'll check that obviously before I finish. We're gonna have to go, we're not gonna be able to complete this uh, in the time that we have. We're about out of time for this video actually. So um, I just wanted to get this one side down to show you what it's gonna look like. We'll need some more trapdoor too. So, um, <laughs> so, uh, thanks for watching, everyone, and uh, we'll see you next time.